I'm 21 years old and I go to college. Te caíste de la cuna, man. You're, still, you're the baby one right here. Jesus, you got your, uh, your baby battle? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, hey, man. My name is Tiberio Morales. Today, this Mexican dad is choosing a date for his daughter. Which one of these six guys will win his approval? Are we in the house? <laughs> yep. Let's do this. Let's do it. <clears throat> My name is Saul Gomez. I'm 26 years old. A fun fact about me is I uh, started boxing recently, so I can defend your daughter in any instance. You're going to defend her for me because I'm a boxer too. That's me. You got, you got a good contender. <laughs> you got a good contender there. Oh, man. Okay, I guess, yeah, you're about to knock me out. I just started. Uh, if it was me, you know, together, my daughter and mine, yeah, why not? <laughs> Did you teach your daughter how to box? Yes, of course. Ha, ah, she's going to beat me up. <laughs> And then you speak Spanish, I believe, sir, right? Yeah, yeah, si hablo español. Muy bueno, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get along with your parents? That's the most important thing for me. Yeah, yeah, I got along with my parents, but now nah, I love both my parents. I like that because, you know, that's, that's the most important thing in a relationship. Yeah. I always tell my daughter, you know, that's one thing you always have to look at. And, uh, he loved his parents. That's 100% they're going to love you and respect you. 100%. You know, and that's... It's something I was looking in that, you know? Yeah. My name is Angel Garcia. I'm 23 years old. And a fun fact about me is that I don't drink and I don't smoke. That's good. Just poor guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's nice. That's nice to hear that. And did you speak Spanish, Angel? Yes, claro que sí. Orale. Uh -huh. Sido. Todo dar. Great. <laughs> Estamos en el canal. <laughs> yes. How were you were raising and what was your bringing life? Uh, I was raised with uh, a very young father. He was uh, 18 when he met my mom. My mom was 30 years old. Looking up to him, you know, he did everything at a very young age and he was always responsible and mature. And I looked up to him a lot. He always worked for our family. He uh, sacrificed a lot of his youth for us. And I look up to him for that. And, you know, growing up, I realized, you know what, I need to do better, you know, make my dad proud and make my mom proud as well. Great, I like that because you're talking about your dad like uh, you're talking about me. When I was young and married and got three kids on the age of 17, yes. that's a nice adventure. You know what yes. I mean? Yeah, my yeah. dad uh, My dad had me when he was I think, 19, and my mom already had like four or five kids already. So he took a big responsibility of taking care of all of us, the whole Let's family. Let's talk about good about yes. your dad, believe yes. me. They should be proud about them. My name is Michael, last name Baca. I also go by the Black Mexican. I am 29 years old, and I read books. Good, Michael. Nice meeting you, Michael. Igualmente. And what are your life goals, too? I want to start my own social media marketing agency one day. But for right now, I'm trying to start to work with bigger and bigger brands. That's good, Michael. Congratulations. You got a nice, nice dreams. Hope to come true. And do you speak Spanish, Michael? It's not uh, required, you know, but... Más o menos. I, mi español no, no es el mejor del mundo, pero yo hablo cuando yo quiero. Yes, yeah, see, he speaks Spanish, see? Yeah. That's the first thing I always try, you know. They, see, si. you know, <laughs> see, you I can try. Yeah, you can Perfect. try, you know, that's better or nothing. Do you dance and what style? I, <laughs> I actually do dance and mostly banda. Banda, orale, ranchero, orale. Arriba las pistolas y el tequila, right? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. No, no. Talking about tequila. Not, not, not at the same time, not at the same time. I, no, I know, <laughs> but you need that to start, right? Or you need that before? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hello, sir. My, my name is Austin and I'm 25 years old. And a fun fact about myself is that I am scuba certified. I can scuba dive. Scuba dive. Oh, scuba dive. Okay. I thought you came from Cuba. So, okay. Orale, chico. <laughs> That's nice. And did you have a job? Uh, so for my job, I work for the community center for the city I live in. And um, so I'm a facilities guy. So I kind of like um, set up weddings and like uh, quinceaneras and stuff like that and um, basically make sure that everyone's having a great time. That's a good business too. We have to do find the quinceañera. They come in a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I, see, I can plan the perfect wedding for your daughter. Oh, all right. I've seen a lot of them. Well, at least you can be part of that maybe, you know. Yeah, <laughs> you never yeah. Know. And, and see, the best part too is the community centers are cheaper, so I'll, I'll get a good deal. Oh, great. See, he started doing business with me. He started to say, you know, as a father-in-law, everything's going to be free. I put the money, I put everything I'm wrong. What the hell is wrong with this guy? <laughs> you know, he's trying hey, to I'm, steal him from me. You I'm know, the complete from package. His, you know, he's a... Uh, 
Come on, you know. And did you speak Spanish, Ashton? It's no, not required. No, you know, no don't bueno. worry. We're back in. No, we're no, back bueno. In. No, <laughs> no, no more bueno. No bueno. No bueno. That's okay. I'm, a, I'm gringo, so. That's okay. Yeah. You know, we always got a second chance. Yeah. I hate it. You yeah. eat enchiladas, right? And tamales, right? I do. Yeah, I love, I love it. I love See? it. We start from something. See, and, and as I get to know you guys and your family, her family and you and, you know, everyone else, um, I'll pick it up. Yeah, of course, because they yeah. all speak Spanish. Even yeah. grandma speaks Spanish. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be uh, mucho... Good. Yeah, mucho esfuerzo. Yeah, that's yeah. good. That's good. Yeah, that's a good start. Yeah. Okay. I know a couple words. Mm -hmm. You get along with your parents? Um. Yeah, I get along with my mom. What about your dad? That's, uh, he's. Okay, um, don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You don't have to cry. Just calm down. Yeah, yeah. Relax. No, <laughs> I understand that. Yeah, get it, you're right. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I'm glad you understand. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I understand but that. But I love, I love family though. Like, that's as, good. as long that's as they're good. not toxic, I love them. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's my good. dad. ¿Qué onda, compa? ¿Cómo estás? Bien, India. Soy de tres trompeo también. Y botas. Yes, ah, All right, my name is Aaron. I'm 26 years old. What's your name? Aaron. 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 Eric. Orale. Uh, no, um, Aaron. 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 Sí. Aaron. 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 Um, fun fact about me. Yeah, I'm five nine, but when I stand on my money, I'm ten feet tall. Of course. Of course, me too. When I got yeah, money, right? I mean, you get bigger yeah, when you got right. money. We have to be secure, you know? Yeah. We have to make sure the family's secure for life. You of know? course, if you don't got no money, you become shorty. Yeah, you know, if you don't have money, you're shorter, you know? Yeah. yeah. And did you have a job? Yes. Um, or you part I, of the gang? No, no uh, so um, <laughs> sadly, um, you know, I'm not part of the gang. Um, but I, I do work at elementary school um, during school, and I also work for another company that works for after school. So I work a lot with kids. That's good. That's a good job. And uh, I like to hear about the kids because we got a lot of grandkids in my home, in my area. Oh, really? Yeah. You want some more? Oh, I want some more. I don't care. Yeah? Cuanto <laughs> quieres? How I, much you want? Yeah, I don't care. That whatever they come, I'm not going to feed it anyway. I'll give you <laughs> as much as you want. I'm not going to feed it anyway. <laughs> okay. To make sure we can have some date nights with your daughter, you can take you care of the kids. You got it, baby. I want you to be there. In the... All right. Awesome. <laughs> with the carne asada. Ya sabes. Oh, really? so, ¿Cuál cerveza le gusta más? I don't drink. Sorry. Oh, you don't drink. Sorry. Never Only Kool-Aid. Sí, what, what, uh, what about uh, some Kool-Aid jammers, yeah, maybe? Yeah, Kool-Aid in the morning, Kool-Aid in the night, Kool-Aid in the Yeah. What are your life and goals? Uh, my goal in life have a family you know to um since I, I work a lot with kids and i actually love what i do i do really want to just um be a great role model for kids not just my own kids but um the kids that i work with also inspire them and just be a great role model for them to know what it is to be a good citizen and a, a great father and also just a great friend to people beautiful that's nice to hear that i don't hola senor hola como estas bien mi nombre es efraín garcia Afraid, uh, I'm 21 years old and I go to college. The case to the lacuna, man. You're, still, you're the baby one right here. Jesus, you got your, uh, your baby battle? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, hey, man. And did you have a job? Uh, right now, I'm doing school full time and I work side jobs doing videography and photography and uh, acting and directing. Beautiful. That's good. And you speak Spanish, of course. Claro que sí. Claro que sí. Claro que sí, Efe. Good, good. And did you get along with your parents? Uh, of course. Uh, I get mostly more, more along with my mom. Uh, she's always the one that's pushing me to be better and be a, a more like going out and uh, doing new things. And my dad's always teaching me to be a, a gentleman and being a better man. So yeah. You're like my kids. I always try to take care of us. They always answer the right thing for me. You know, which is I don't blame. I don't complain about anything of those. What's, what's the, uh, the worst thing? Well, not the worst thing. What's the matter for me? It was the age, you know? But that's pretty much that's it, you know, because everybody talk about nice. I don't know if that's a false, a true, you know, but everybody sounds like a great deal for my daughter or my daughters, <laughs> you know, but most of the problem is the age, you know? And that's the only thing, you know, that's pretty much. Fresh eliminated is gonna be, sorry for the last one, what's the name of the last one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's the baby, you know, it's the oh. baby. <laughs> Efrain, sorry, Efrain. You need Está to go bien, away, you know, nice meeting you, Efrain, but you know. How old are your daughters? You're the baby, she's uh, 34. Uh -huh. You know, it's just, I mean, Man. a lot of people say, it's just a number. Not this time. You know, when you're looking for I a I treat her better than any of these guys are in here right now. Yeah, <laughs> I know. They are babies, you know, but it's okay. You know, we're getting close to that. I'll come back when I'm 24. All right, when I get another one. Well, I'll work it up another baby and see what happens. Mucho gusto. <laughs> Mucho gusto. <laughs> you never know, man. <laughs> Austin. I think that's going to be the second one. 
And one of the things, I don't know, the way you talk about it, maybe I feel like false or something, you know, it's something, it's no much, you know, getting there, you know, and the age, you know, same thing, you know, uh, you don't okay. tell me the truth, man. Something is to say, you to say, they don't say the truth, but that's okay, you know. Okay. Yeah. I'll remember yeah. this. Nice meeting you, man. Yeah. It was, it was okay meeting you. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Round two. And Saul so, Gomez, at tu servicio. Saul, again? Okay, Saul, nice meeting you again. What's your idea, date for my daughter? We'll start off, I'll pick her up at like 5.30 p.m. because we have reservations in Hollywood to go eat sushi. And then after we eat the sushi, we're gonna go horseback riding during the sunset. And uh, we're gonna get to learn about each other. At the beach? Like in the mountain ranges. So we see like the beach in the distance, but it's a nice view. Sounds like romantic. Sounds like you can take me and stare my daughter. Yeah. okay. I used to watch a lot of novelas growing up. Orale, <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> what time do we have my daughter back home? She might not even, she might not even go home. <laughs> we'll probably like fall in love and we'll just get a plane ticket and we'll just we'll just leave we'll leave everybody behind and we'll start a new life like in kansas or something jesus christ yeah. you take it away from me you're dangerous man <laughs> <laughs> if a girl is trying to talk to you why are you dating with my daughter why you what should you do i'll run her over with the car jesus with yeah. all together <laughs> yeah yeah she'll she'll drive it and i'll hit the gas that's great. Yeah, teamwork, make I'm, your dream work. I'll go behind you, man. Yeah. You <laughs> yeah, once once I'm talking to your daughter, it's, it's who I'm locked in. I don't want to talk to nobody else. That's for sure. Yep. And uh, what's your purpose in life? My purpose in life is to find the love of my life, move out the city, have like a like a big ranch, have a family, and uh, live happily ever after. Watch Shrek on the weekends, something, something cool. Yeah, yeah. You watch a lot of movies, a lot of novelitas. Yeah, that's good. Cool. What, quali what qualities or values do you have that you're also looking for in a partner or my daughter? She has to be goal-driven, ambitious. She needs to uh, not be lazy. Not, not a fan of lazy people. Oh, nice. Okay. What is your idea you dated for my daughter? Uh, first date with your daughter. She's 34 years old. It's not too late to get her saved. I will uh, pick her up and take her to church. Uh, that will be our first date. You know, going to church, pray for her. Uh, introduce her to God, and then after church, I would take her out to eat and then bring her back home early. Jesus, you don't want to make me cry. I start feeling like really like the like Virgen de Guadalupe, start like winding, coming through my face, my hair start blowing. Oh, I like that. Yeah, it's a miracle happened. What time you will, will you home? Will you home my daughter? Church ends at eight. I probably have her home by like nine thirty. Nine thirty. Cause I gotta go to bed too. Somebody you like to go sleep early? Yes, Jesus. yes I do. It's a, it's a girl trying to talk to you a while, and you date my daughter. What would you do? I probably would ignore her or probably tell her like I'm gay. Ooh. And that way she would never ever talk to me ever again. Ever again. That's ever again. You scare people. Like, yes. So simple. Yes. So she says, are you dating someone? I'd be like, I'm gay. And she will walk away and I would never see her again. Wow. What's your idea date for my daughter? You know what I would do? I would take her to whatever restaurant she wants to go. And then we can go to a ballet right after. And we can just go to the beach after the ballet. Do you and just know talk my daughter? Does she love ballet? I, she was a dancer, ballet. I mean, I don't. I mean, I don't want to tell you what to do, but. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> what time you will have my daughter back home? Um, well, you know, the ballet doesn't even stop to like you know one in the morning. So the traffic two in the morning. That's great. That's great. By one o'clock in the morning, it's still early. If the girl tried to talk to you while you get day my daughter, what should you do? I mean, I, I don't want to be rude, so I'll probably, you know, just talk to her, but I'll let her know that I'm in a relationship currently because I wouldn't want to disrespect your daughter like that. That's great. That's good. And you're more in a gift or a giver or just a fun experience? Oh, so I gift fun experiences. So ooh, both at the same ooh, time. Hey. You know, por qué no los dos, right? Érale, sí. Yo en España, de cualquiera de los dos. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Dangerous. He's coming more dangerous. What is your conflict resolution approach? I would say it's very simple. I identify a problem, come up with a plan, and then execute the plan, assess the plan. I couldn't think of a fifth one, but that sounds like that sounds good right there. Oh, is a uh, UFBI? Or? I, I, you know, I prefer to go in life in steps. That's Makes good. it easy. Makes it easy. That's good. That's good. That's a good answer. And what is your purpose in life? I would say that my purpose in life is to inspire people um, and give people something to strive for. So set goals 
and accomplish those goals. Hey, Daddy. What's up, man? What's going on? All right. What is your idea, dating for my daughter? Uh, let me just ask you this right now. Do you mind if she comes back late? I don't care. She awesome. can take care of themselves. As long as I it. have your permission, sir, then we're good, okay? Because yeah, I want to make sure I don't disrespect you and your household either. That's the only thing. Respect my house and you respect there the whole thing. And then my respect. daughter wants to be unrespectful. That's up to her as long as I don't know. All right. You know, but she can kick ass. You know, she's bad. <laughs> All right. You know, I think me and I daughter trust my daughter, good. you know. I would definitely take her. Does she really love Mexican food? Everything, man. Oh, everything. Crazy. Oh, perfect. So first off, I'm going to take her, I'm going to pick her up and then take her to a very nice, fancy Mexican restaurant where they have um, all types of food. And I'm going to um, make sure that she has a great time, that she's laughing, smiling, and I'm going to get to know her more. She's going to meet, get to know me more. And then from there, we're going to go dancing for wherever she wants to go dancing. Whatever she wants to dance to, we're going to go dance to it. If she wants to dance to some merengue, we're going to dance to some merengue. If she wants to dance to some salsa, Ooh, some salsa. If she wants to dance to some banda, we're going to do some banda. You got it, huh? If she just wants to do some hip hop, we can break it down, you know, get low. It's all, it's all that matters. I like that. Maybe I'll go with you, you know, guys. If she too. wants to back it up, that's on her. <laughs> Ooh, but baby. That's there on her, go. not that's... me. Remember, I want her, if she wants to do anything, she has to uh, be the one to say it first, not me. Oh, yeah, that's for sure. Yes. I would say the same thing, man. Yeah. Uh, el hombre llega hasta donde la mujer quiere. Sí. Okay. Yeah, you. I always say that, you know, and that's, I agree with you. You know, even if my daughter, I agree with you. The only thing you screwed up right now in, uh, in the beginning, you know, you never come empty hand to my door. Oh, no, uh, you yeah, totally no, right, Yeah, no, you screwed sir. up, man, totally sorry, right. you already screwed Notice up. Notice how everyone else came empty handy too, though. Yeah, no, you should be go yeah. on the door, knock my door. We all came empty handy, sir. And say, I can pick up my daughter, your daughter, and a flower there. And yes. At least one flower. You screwed up, man, the whole thing. Oh, no, you know? you're right, man, you're, cheap, you're right. You know? And you're I'm sorry cheap. for that, and I'll, I'll promise to uh, fix that and uh, make it better. What time will we have my daughter back home? Uh, like I, that's why I asked you if you, you know, if you cared, because I want to make sure I'm respecting your house and your house rules. You said you didn't care, so if we're having a great time and she wants to be out that late with me, I can bring her back around maybe three, four a.m. That's early. That's cool. Well, that's good. I sir, like if that. you want, I'll just make no, sure no, she doesn't no. come hey, back hey, to the hey, next if day. Is something wrong? I say yes, early, right? No, I know. No, it's early in the morning. Like, I never I say it's too that. late. Saying, you know, the fact that you think you that's have early. to get on the both ways. You know, I mean. I bring your daughter early, sir, 3 o'clock, 5 o'clock in the morning. What the hell is wrong with that? All know. right. I'm not complaining. Oh, <laughs> sir, you know what? This is going to go great for both of us here. Yes, it is. If a girl tries to talk to you while you're dating my daughter, what should you do? Uh, do you want to role play right now? Role play, whatever you yeah, want like to do. You act like you're the woman coming up to me, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm me. Baby. You had a chance to come with me. Excuse me, shut oh. up. First of all, shut up. Don't talk to me. Uh, I have a girlfriend and she's the love of my life and I and I like her very much and I don't want to disrespect her or her father. So I need you to take your little booty somewhere else, walk away, and don't ever talk to me ever again. Oh, you're too tough, baby. Jesus, man. I don't know. No, I don't want to hear you're it. You're so nervous. Baby. I don't want to hear it. Nope. Ooh, Get away honey. from me, please. Get away from honey, me. Honey, come on. Don't let don't make me <laughs> don't make me call my girlfriend over here so she can like show you what's up. That's I scared that by that. <laughs> Are you more a giver, a giver, or a fun experience? I don't mind giving gifts, especially when it's something that she very she wanted and she like hinted at. I definitely won't want to give her those gifts, and not just her. Of course, for the suegro and suegra también, ya sabes. If you guys want something, you never know. You know this. What if you hinted like, oh, I want that new jersey? He tried to buy me up. That's all. No, I'm not trying to buy you. Yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah, remember, yeah, yeah. remember. I got a price, baby. I got a price, baby. <laughs> <laughs> remember, it's not just about your daughter. You guys are also the new family. But no, you're no, my I new agree family. with you. I agree with yeah. you because one of the best things in a family life is uh, you first need to earn the mother-in-law and the father, and then you can go through the daughters. So yeah. simple. Because you're winning. It's a double win. You know, it's like you win the mother and father. It's like you win the daughter. Okay, what qualities or values do you have that you also look for in my daughter? Ooh, uh, communication. Communication is very important to me because I wouldn't want, you know, us not talking about, if there's certain problems we have, definitely want to talk about those problems. Because I feel like once you keep those problems to yourself, it turns even worse. Beautiful. And Joe, you you're too young too. Wow. You know? <laughs> and you're fun. I mean, oh. everything's great, you know, everything's good. But, you know, still a young kid, you know. And mm, it's okay. Thank you. You're welcome. No. If you ever need prayer. Yeah. yeah. God bless. Oh, I'm here. Yeah, I know. See, Thank you, guys. That's another reason, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Saul. Yes, sir. You're great. I think you're going to be 26. 
Yeah, I'm 26, about to be 27, which is basically 30. Yeah, I see. Basically, so you're almost <laughs> getting 40, yes. I yeah, I'm almost 40. Uh, sorry, you know, but, you know, like I say, you know, the age, sometimes you're looking, I mean, you, all you guys got a, a beautiful qualities, you know, and I uh, appreciate that. And, you know, basically, what am I, we can say is that. Someone, someone in this line is younger than me. <laughs> but I can work in that, you know. It's all right, big dog. Yeah, it's all right, big Thank dog. Thank you, though. It's all right. Woo. Final round, guys. Let's do it. We got Ron and Michael, right? Yes, sir. Confident. We're feeling confident. You have and my daughter have an issue. How you handle that with her? Definitely talk through it. Listen to each other. Communicate. Come up with the solution. Execute said solution. What are some red flags you, tr you try to look from when you get in to know someone? Uh, if they're always on their phone, they don't work out. That's a big one. They don't communicate. No communication at all, right? That yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. That's a good red flag. Yes. And are you a 50-50 person uh, or more provider man mentality? Definitely provider man mentality. Provider mentality. That's great. That's good. And are you able to protect my daughter? Absolutely. That's what I, I box at least three, three, two to three times a week. And I've been boxing for like four or five years. Sometimes not necessarily about protecting. Uh, and that way is a lot of ways to protect my daughter. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, Michael, everyone has an addiction. What are your addictions? I would say I'm really competitive. So like, let's say you did 50 push-ups and I want to do 51 push-ups. Let's say you ran two miles. I want to run 2.5 miles. I'm very nice. competitive with very everything. Competitive. Okay, that's great. You have my daughter have an issue. How you handle that? I would go to your house and tell her we're having tell you we're having issues. Okay. I'm just kidding, man. No, um, if me and her have an issue, um, honestly, like I like I told you before on the last round, uh, communication, we we have to talk to see to find a solution, not talking to see who's correct. That's great. That's yeah. great. What are the same red flags you try to look for when getting to know someone? Definitely, like if we're on a date and she's like on her phone a lot, that thing is a huge red flag because that makes me seem like she's not very, she's not really interested. Someone who cannot hold a relationship, definitely, like I said, if they don't talk um, about how they feel, because you can only go so long with holding your feelings, in, and one day you're gonna explode. And uh, you are a 15, 15 person or more provider? More of a provider, sir. I'm a mentality. Yeah, more of a provider. I ha you have to, you know, this is your daughter we're speaking of. I have to provide for her. You provided for her your entire life, now it's my turn. Yeah, it's great. I like that too. And are you able to protect my daughter? Are you a boxer or two, a karate kid or? I'll tell you this, sir. <laughs> I'll tell you this. I've been in some fights, you know? You should, see, you should see the other guy. That's all I'm gonna say. Will you be supporting if your child was part of the LGBT community? Yes, sir. Um, don't lie to me, okay? No, because no, because I... Uh, when you I, don't have in your hand, um, it's simple to say, oh, yes, yes, I no, do this. I get that. Know. No, I understand. Um, I mean, I have two kids of my own, right? And I've always said, too, because uh, my friends have asked me jokingly, like, oh, what would you do, you know? And I just said, well, I mean, they're still, that's still my son and my daughter. Regardless, I'm going to love them for who they are. Michael, the same question. Yes, if my parents, if my, if my kids are part of the LGBT, I would be supportive of them all the way. All right. Ah, oh, okay. Hello, sir. How you doing? Thank you. <laughs> El Michael, right? Si, sí, senor. I'm the best because, like, I know you, um, the whole kid thing, I, I, I respect that. You want a fresh start for your daughter and everything. And I tell her, no, that's okay. And I respect that. So, um, I mean, other than that, I can say is, I mean, I feel like me and your daughter would be a very great couple. Because I know maybe the kid thing's a little, maybe something different. But um, I feel like that wouldn't ever affect our relationship. So, I can tell you're a strong father. That, that's what I always look for in a daughter, someone that has a strong father, right? So I also had a very strong father, right? So I think that that matches that commonality. I think we come from like strong, two strong families. So I think we would both go together. I also think Aaron's a great guy. So you can't really go wrong with either one of us. But I mean, I'll just walk off right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, like I say, you know, all six guys, they're great, you know? If I had to choose, you know, I had to choose all six, you know, and I, I can live, you know, in Bahamas, you know, Bahamas and stay cool because I got six support, you know, but, you know, that don't work that way, you know. <laughs> it's worth to choose for one and, you know, sorry about that, you know. Well, I choose Michael, you know, because I say he's a little bit tough, which is looking for somebody to support my girl, you know. Thank you for all opportunity, Let's go. sir. Thank <laughs> you. Michael, Good job, Aaron. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, have Good fun. Job. Yes.
I'm definitely ready for that day for his daughter. Looking forward to it. I think I think he's also looking forward to it. Yeah. 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 See. Yeah. 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 Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get this cologne to smell this good All right. one day. That's my goal. And yeah. I give us a It gift. was fun. <laughs> okay, perfect. And your birthday. <laughs> yeah. Thank Congrats, you. Thank you. Thank you.